Hey everyone, today I have a quick tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to convert your video files from HEVC or H.265 to H.264. Maybe you're running into some compatibility issues and you wanna go back to using H.264. Well, today we'll show you how to do that for free and it's really easy to do using a free piece of software called Handbrake. I've been using this software for years, but hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we're bringing videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and jump right over to my computer and show you how to convert your video files. All right, so here we are on my computer desktop. If you don't have Handbrake downloaded already, you can head on over to their website handbrake.fr and it's a free open source video transcoder and you can just click on downloads here at the top. I've been using this software for years and it's available for Mac, Windows and Linux. Just go ahead and download that and install it. Now I've got a shortcut here on my desktop. I'm just gonna go ahead and load up their software. It's got kind of a beverage and a pineapple in their little icon there. Now once you've got it loaded up like this, you can just go ahead and drag and drop your video file in there. I've got a video file we're gonna be convert, converting today and it's right here on my desktop on the left-hand side. If I double click on that, I can play it for you. This is just some video footage from town here. Now I'm just gonna pause it so you can see what the codec is. If I go to tools here in VLC media player and go to codec information, I can see that this is an HEVC file, H.265, it's right there. And you can always check out the codec um, in VLC. Now, once I've got that video file, we can just go ahead and drag it right into Handbrake, just drag it over and drop it in there. And it's gonna bring in that video file right into Handbrake. Now, once you're in here, what we wanna do is pick a preset of our output. So right now you can set, see that it's got fast 1080p30 selected here. I just can click on that. And there's a ton of different options in here. We're just going into converting it, but there's a ton of different things that if you wanna play with this software some more. But in here you can select the output codec. So you can see there's very fast 1080p30 all the way to super high quality 1080p30. There's some web-based ones, so if you want um, Vimeo videos, if you want different devices for Apple, Chromecast, PlayStation, etc. Or there's some H.265 file outputs here. We're just going to go ahead and select very fast 1080p30 for today, just for this video. From there, you can see it says H.264 over here at 30 frames per second on the left hand side we want to select our output at the bottom. So right now it's got it set to my videos. If I click on browse here at the bottom, I can just select maybe my desktop and maybe I wanna change this file name. I'm just gonna call it um, encoded H264. We'll just call it that and just hit save. It's gonna change that at the bottom. From there, we need to go right into encoding. So if you wanna do a whole bunch of videos, you can add it to a queue and do them all at once. I'm just gonna hit start encode here at the, at the top and it's gonna start encoding that file to my desktop. And we'll just let this do its thing here. It's at about 10%. Um, so I'll come right back to you when it's done here. All right, so that's all finished up here and you can see there's the file here on my desktop. Let me go ahead and play that for you. I'm just gonna pause it here so we can have a quick look at the codec information. So we'll just go again to tools, codec information, and you can see it's codec H.264 and MPEG-4 ABC. And it's really that simple to convert your H.265 or your HEVC files to H.264 with Handbrake. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you out in converting your video files from H.265 to H.264. 264. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.